that y'all came out. I, was, I had to come out to that song, We Be Clubbing, because that was my first movie, The Players Club. First time I ever did a movie. I was so proud of myself, but I forgot about my ghetto-ass relatives, you know. I came home thinking they was going to ask me intellectual shit, you know, like, girl, how was it working with Ice Cube? They had one concern. They wanted to know, why you let that bitch hit you in the eye at the end of the goddamn... Say, because they gave me a check, bitch, that's why. And I took that punch like a champ, too, goddammit. I love playing tricks, though, I did, because tricks, that bitch was old, that bitch was fat, but she was not giving up her G-string. She had confidence, ladies. That's the kind of confidence all of us should have. We should all feel that confident about ourselves, but we be bullshitting, worried about little bullshit flaws, like, is my stomach too big? Bitch, do your man like it? And if he don't, it's time to find a nigga that like the big belly bitch. That's all. Y'all tripping over little bullshit, ladies. Let me tell you something. I don't care how fucked up you think you are, somebody gonna want your ugly ass. You can believe that. Oh, yeah, there is somebody for everybody. So if you buck too, bitch, relax. Chill out, Bucky, baby. Because somebody want them a bunny bitch in here tonight. Oh, yeah, I bet it's a man in this room tonight don't want nothing less than a bitch who can bite an apple through a picket fence, I bet you. So you relax, girls. Quit worrying about them little flaws and shit. I know what happened, ladies. We start looking in the magazines, looking at TV, and we want to live up to the celebrity bitch. Well, it ain't going to happen. These hoes are manufactured. They're not real like you. You can't live up to them bitches. They don't even go through the same kind of shit you go through. These are the same women you read about going to the hospital for exhaustion and dehydration. Now, in the real world, a bitch get tired and dehydrated, she drinks some water and take a fucking nap. She don't go to the hospital. And then, you know what? We forget entertainment is separate from your real life. We'd be taking that bullshit home, you know? You hear a song, ladies, enjoy that shit and leave it in the club. Don't take it home. When TLC made no scrubs, we just fucked it all up, didn't we? Man on the passenger side couldn't get no action from your ass at all. Y'all gonna fuck around and miss your man fucking with TLC. How you, gonna, how you gonna get love advice from a bitch named Left Eye? You don't ask that hoe about love, you ask her about a contact lens or some shit. It ain't like she got a history of harmony her damn self, is it? I mean, ain't that the same bitch who burned her scrubs tub up and shit? And if you listen to them celebrities long enough, they will contradict the bullshit that they feeding you. You know that. Because TLC, they say they don't want no scrubs. That's now, after them millions done kicked in. But you remember when them hoes was bankrupt, they wasn't too proud to beg, was they? They was creeping and giving out the red light special on that ass, wasn't it? Same thing with Destiny's Child. Them hoes talking shit now, ain't they? Shoes on my feet, I fight in car. I depend on you's a lie, bitch. You depend on Beyonce. Who the fuck you think you fool? <laughs> Talking that I'm an independent woman shit, but a few weeks ago you was, can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? I was looking at him going, damn, bitch, bills, y'all ain't but 12. Where the fuck y'all get bills from? What you hoes, runaways or some shit? Go home. You can't listen to them select. They will trick you, ladies. You got to understand this. They trying to sell you some shit, and they don't give a fuck how bad they make you feel in the process. Remember that, because I saw a Jenny Craig commercial. They just didn't bar none. Start using your children. Lady came out all disillusioned and distraught, talking about, I knew I had to take action, because I woke up one morning, and my daughter said, Mommy, you're fat. And I knew I had to do something. So I picked up that phone and I called Jenny Craig. You know, they flipped the screen, she come back all happy and shit talking about, I lost 15 pounds on Jenny Craig and I feel great. And I'm like, bitch, you must have been sipping on some scissor or some shit. Cause I would have handled the situation differently. I could have done that commercial, came out and said, I knew I had to take action. Because I woke up one morning and my daughter said, mommy, you're fat. And I knew I had to do something. So I picked up that phone 
and I'd knock that little hole down a flight of stairs. I beat that bitch like she was a rival gang member. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I beat her, she ran. I beat her, she ran. I beat her ass some more. I beat her so long, I lost 15 pounds, and now I feel... <laughs> and the little bitch don't talk back no more either. Because you know they'll use your children. The children crazy enough to go along with the bullshit. And I know why they're crazy. They must be sipping on some scissor and eating on some goddamn oodles and noodles. That's what they're doing. You know them Raymond noodles, whatever the fuck they call them. Because when your ass was little and eating spam, you wasn't crazy as these little bastards are. It looked like they got everybody crazy. I can't stand when I turn on a TV and this bitch up there telling Sally Jesse Raphael's old ass to help because her teen is out of control. I'd be up there going with totally different topics. Help! My teen is embedded in the concrete and I can't get this motherfucker out. Help! My foot is stuck in my teen's ass and I got on new shoes. Help! My teen ain't got a dental plan and I knocked the motherfucker's teeth out again. That makes me so mad when I see him. I saw this lady on there crying and shit because her 13-year-old wouldn't wear nothing but Tommy Hill figure clothes. And the little fucker was dressed in Tommy. He 13, no job. This bitch done bought him all he want. He got on socks, Tommy socks, Tommy drawers, Tommy watch the little bastard up there front, and she crying to Sally, talking about, I told him, Sally, there's other children in the home, and I'm working two jobs, and I'm thinking, bitch, you better quit sipping on that scissor. Because if that was me, I would be up there with the same dilemma. My child tell me he ain't going to wear nothing but Tommy Hilfiger. I say, no problem, motherfucker. Let's go see Sally. I'd be on national TV explaining to Sally and my son be sitting on national TV butt fucking naked. <laughs> Wondering why. I say, call Tommy. He'll figure it out for your little punk ass. <laughs> you crazy fucker. Goddamn noodles, that's what it is. You can't trust them oodles or noodles. They call them Raymond noodles, but that shit ain't lunch. You see this shit, it only take three minutes to get ready. All you need is hot water, don't cost but a dime a pack. Bitch, that's a trap, that ain't lunch. And I believe it's some grown-ups that's eating that bullshit too. Especially some of our entertainers, you know. I believe Whitney Houston sip on some syrup and get her some noodles every now and then. I think she sprinkled a little something special on her noodles, don't you? Now, I ain't trying to confirm no drug rumors, but Whitney ass do walk and talk awful fucking fast these days. Bobby Chris, Bobby Chris, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Chris. Bobby. Sweating and shit. But I'm gonna tell you when I became suspicious of Whitney. When I saw her ass on national TV telling the world that her man, Bobby Brown, was the original R&B king. I say, who this bitch talking to? Is Bobby Womack in this motherfucker? Quest? How you gonna call Bobby Brown the original R&B king? Unless R&B is rocks and blunts, then your ass got the wrong motherfucker. Tell you somebody else who I believe eating them noodles every now and then, Erica Badu. Erica scared the fuck at you. She will scare you. Cause you know, and I love her song Bag Lady cause I love the message in there and shit. But she one of them deep bitches, you know? And you can't follow her all the time. Then when I first heard the song, I didn't know she was talking about emotional baggage. I thought she was fucking with the bag lady. Let me shut that. Bag lady, you gon' miss your bus. You can't hurry up cause you got too much stuff. I'm going, now why you fucking with the bag lady? You know she ain't got change for the goddamn bus. If I was a bag lady, I'd have made a song to fuck with Erica right back. I'd have called it Rag Lady and talk about that turban on her fucking head. Rag Lady, you gon' hurt your neck Trying to wear them spreads like that I guess nobody ever told you All those covers go to your bed, your bed, not your head. A scary heifer. I love Erica, but she is spooky. I went to see her in person. And you know, real intelligent people scare you some fucking time because they go a route that your ass ain't used to taking. 
And I went to see her ass and the stage was all dark and shit. She came out with this fur coat and this turban on her head and shit. Candles lit, incense burning. I didn't know if the bitch was gonna sing a song or cast a spell, I swear to God, I didn't know. I wouldn't even look at her in the eyes. I say, peek at the bitch, don't look right in the eyes. She might put something on ya. It's amazing how we let people be crazy just cause they entertain us, ain't it? Cause you know for yourself, if Erica worked anywhere else except as a singer, you'd have been done called her crazy ass out. If she worked in the grocery store, you'd be pushing your cart going, the bitch in frozen foods is crazy than a motherfucker. Sending people, go look at her, but peek at her, don't look at her in the eyes. I like to fuck with them, but I like to fuck with them rappers the most because they always come up with unique names and shit. I be thinking, where they come up with this shit for the name? Some of them can't live up to their names, though. You know, some of them can, like Big Pun. That was a big guy. He lived up to his name, you know. Lil' Kim, that's a little bitch. She lives up to her name, you know. Foxy Brown, she just brown. Sorry. How are you gonna take a name that Pam Greer wore so well and fuck it up like that? You can't do that, Foxy. And you know, she, I saw her up close, she ain't all that fucked up, but she got a serious case of acne, bumps every fucking way, just, just bump it. The bitch look like a pickle, I'm telling you now. Calling herself Foxy Brown. I'm looking at her ass thinking, yeah, bitch, if you Foxy Brown, oh, Foxy needs some oxy. Ten, that is, huh? And fellas, I know y'all love her because she's got the eel na-na. Y'all better quit fucking with that eel na-na. Y'all gonna get a sicky dicky. You heard her when she came back talking about hot spot, hot spot. I'm thinking, uh-huh, they called that burning, bitch. Couple of shots in the ass, I'd have cleared that right on up for you, Fox. And y'all, speaking of that, y'all better be careful. I know y'all go to the strip clubs and you love to spend your money, and especially these little rappers now. They go in the strip clubs, spend all their money, pay. A lot of them go ahead and fuck these girls, get them pregnant and shit. Don't wear no condom. You can't be like that with your dick. You gotta be safe out here. And then what make me mad is after they go to the strip club and spend all their money on them and then get them pregnant and shit and marry them, they go sing a song talking about they're a player, they're a pimp. Yeah, the braided up pimp. No, motherfucker, use a trick. Let's get this shit right. Some of y'all got girlfriends that can tell you if you's a trick or not. Fellas, if your girlfriend's nickname is Hot Chocolate, Sensation, or Miss Good Head, you're probably a trick, okay? If every time you go see your woman, you gotta get changed for a 20, all singles, you probably a trick, okay? 